Hey, Nate Smoyer from Real Team Panda coming at you with another overview. And this week, don't mind the screen there, we're talking about Morty. Now, uh, I heard about this Morty from a few friends of mine, but this is not the Morty we're talking about. And perhaps this is the face that you've made when you've been trying to shop and compare for mortgages. We're talking about this Morty, your smart home mortgage. And I really like what Morty is trying to do here. And if I can try my best in summarizing it, they're looking to make shopping and comparing mortgages easy, kind of an apples to apples kind of thing. And if you've bought a home and you've gone through the process of getting a mortgage, then you know that that's not the case. You have origination fees, some charge points, some don't, and some have better rates than others, and some want more down, and some want uh, different debt to equity ratios. There are standards that which we have to go by uh, based on lending laws and, and different types of loan products. But then how do you find the non-conventional loan products even? Uh, and if you're looking to refi, it can get all kinds of messy from there. So let's run through what is Morty and what are they doing to actually make the process simple. So first, let's just go through the actual process of how they work. Okay, so they've broken it down into four steps, right? Step one is building out your financial pro profile. So linking up your income assets, you know, your employment, personal and property, that kind of thing. They're building who you are uh, just to get started. And it's actually a really simple process. The next piece is you actually learn about the loan options. So this is where they send over some things about what's going happening, what's going on with the loans. They've actually uh, also taken a very particular approach in marketing directly to first-time home buyers. So it does seem like this product is meant to simplify the process for people who are coming into this world of shopping for a mortgage and being totally blown away. Uh, so I think this is really going to be to their benefit. Um, although, you know, we may be seeing less first time buyers right now. It's more difficult to be a first time home buyer, I think right now than it has been in years past. Um, but still, this is a fantastic option for people who just need some help in getting through the process. Uh, step three, you get to compare offers and choose. Look, we do this with travel. We do this with our car insurance right? Why not do it with our mortgage, right? Have one portal, look at all the options and get any, the option to choose. And then finally, you get to close on your mortgage. Um, they'll work directly with the lender and the real estate agent. So they're working in the middle. They're, they're creating the marketplace for you to get the best possible product uh, for your lending needs. All right. So this is actually what the questionnaire looks like when you're building out your, your personal profile, person's home, refi, or plan ahead and get pre-approved, right? So if I was buying a new home, it's it's really, really simple. You know, if I don't have the address next, maybe on four to six months, right? Um, if I remember correctly, they're in Washington. Hopefully I get that right. Boom, there we go. Okay. And even still, like if I'm not ready to get pre-approved, Maybe I just need some educational resources or financial planning tools, right? Product updates. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. I'd love for someone from Morty to tell me really what they do with the product updates and how that uh, benefits consumers. But if I wanted to get pre-approved, right? And then it's just filling your name and they'll go from there and collecting more of your personal data. Um, let's talk about the about statement because I think this really just points to the mission. Uh, they're reinventing how people get a mortgage on a mission to empower home buyers and bring transparency and competition to an industry that's lacking both for too long. Hey, everyone pick up the slack. Now, I don't know if they're calling out rocket mortgage, eight minutes to get approved for a mortgage. I think that's what they're saying, eight to 12 minutes, something like that. I've not actually gone through rocket mortgage. I used Quicken Loans. I know that from a realtor perspective, Quicken Loans isn't often the realtor's favorite tool to work with, but as a consumer, I had a pretty good experience with Quicken Loans until I went for my refi. That's another story. Uh, let's talk about how Morty is being funded. So uh, there are actually, actually really lo, uh, young company, 2015. Um, so they're less than three years old. They've only gone through, uh, for, according to Crunchbase, two rounds of funding, $3 million, and only $3 million. I'd say they actually must be doing pretty well if that's all they've had to raise. Um, they are getting a bit of traction in expanding across the country. Uh, here's a little image from their Facebook page of the states that they're authorized to work in. Now, interestingly enough, I did note they're based out of New York City, uh, but they are not able to originate loans in New York. So that's got to be a little bit of a bummer, but New York has some funny regulations. And last but not least, I did want to talk about the reviews. Are people actually using this product? And the answer is yes. Here's some of the reviews. Oh boy, my dog's about to bark. It might get a little entertaining here. Anyway, uh, here's some of the reviews on there. Uh, one person used it for refining, and one person used it straight for their uh, uh, 
uh, pre-approvals. And they said the only con is that they're not licensed in 50 states. So I'd say sounds like Morty's on to something here. Looks like uh, something that is in demand by consumers. Well, that's it for this week's product overview. Uh, if you learned anything or you, you were challenged by anything on this video, you know, do me a favor and like, comment, share below. Um, if you want your company to be overviewed or you think there's another one out there that I should be overviewing, uh, go ahead and tag that below in the comments as well. I'd love to see uh, who's doing what and let's give them a little bit of, lo of love in the, in the limelight here. And last but not least, uh, don't forget the launch of the Technest podcast is coming up in a few weeks. If you want to get on the launch list, technest.io, that's technest.io, go to the subscribe link. Uh, we're just using Tiny Letter for the uh, uh, email list right now, but we're getting signups every single day on that. It's been exciting. I'm so pumped for that. And we've got uh, season one being wrapped up as we speak. So that's it for me. I uh, hope you guys have a great week. Until then, I'll see you next week. Thanks.